we manufactured 4,200 pairs of shoes and uh, they shipped across the Pacific Ocean. We received them. And as we started going through them, our, it wasn't good. <laughs> we started going through them and then you're looking at them and it turns out that 80% of them were bad. That was our first real push, our first real stretch for it to come back as bad as it was. Like one, it was a matter of like trying to figure out what we could salvage to be able to right. satisfy the Kickstarter campaign. Right. But two, to be able to continue this brand, continue this idea. It was a financial gut blow. It was so demoralizing. We're like, oh my gosh, we've got this great idea, but it can't be executed. What could have really shut us down and just like killed the business ended up really being more of an opportunity because how, it forced us that? to go out and find someone that really knew what they were doing. The crazy thing about it, had it not been for that failure, we never would have gotten connected with this incredible partner, which is called Topline. They were owned by Steve Madden and they helped us get those initial shoes out there that were of quality which got us into Nordstrom and got us on the shelves of Zappos. There's basically on, only a few ways to exit, right? There's failing, it's right? A very popular way to exit. <laughs> so there's acquisition and there's IPO. And, you know, the number of companies that IPO, it is a, a like one to 3%. And for women, okay, very few. So then we're looking at acquisition and there's four types of acquisition. Okay. There's maintaining your dignity. There's no price on dignity. <laughs> And, you know, a lot of times those are your, your act hire, right? Uh, and then new car, new house, don't have to work again for the rest of your life. And, you know, most acquisitions, you know, are going to be in those first three and that's okay. You know, you've got more money and way more experience than you had when you started. One of the things that I learned at a young age is you cannot allow other people to define what success looks like for you. It's your job to understand what success looks like for you and your company, you and your life, because although you may have the accolades and you may have the, the financial wealth or any of these other things that other people put high value on, if that's not what success looks like for you, then that's a really important thing to know because you're not benchmarking your success. You're not competing in life with anyone else. Ultimately, it's around the purpose that you have for your life and how closely are you gearing towards that purpose. And that's the way I think about it. As an HR professional at the level I was at, I was really shocked the amount of discrimination. Like I really thought free capitalism, green dollars, okay, great. Not going to run into these issues that rampant throughout corporate America. And the fact that when Mixtros first came out, even in our MVP, it was Android and iOS, and it was always something else. And I've been questioned that we're mother, daughter, will it work between mother, daughter? I'm like, man, I see a lot of father, son signs. And they're <laughs> so, and I've been questioned, have I really, am I really committed? Would I be willing to sleep on a mattress? And my answer is hell no. I worked 25 years. I have a of one of those great mattresses that conform to my back and I'm not willing to give it up, nor should that be the litmus test. I think I stopped being obsessed with being perfect, right? My life blew up quite publicly. That's why I created this company. So other women don't have to suffer. Like I went through a divorce in this whole financial struggle and journey. And, and I wow. want other women not to have to suffer. But I also realized along the way that I, if I try to be perfect, then I get about one tenth of what I need to get done out the door, right? But whereas if you're just mo constantly moving and making things happen, it's going to be good enough, right? Yes. <laughs> and that's, I think that's something like, sometimes I'll look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, these emails have typos, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm but the deal still went through, right? <laughs> you know?